Okay, we're going to show you how to finish this up by weathering the seat. I've already painted it uh, tan. It's just a flat tan, dried in a couple minutes. And uh, this is actually the wash, the black wash that comes with the uh, Rust All kit. I believe all it amounts to is uh, just uh, an acrylic flat black and water that's been diluted down to a wash as we talked about before but the only thing that I do with this I did it in several coats on the last one as you saw the one that's in the car right now but just to bring out the wrinkles a little bit more in there and to give it that real weathered look forgive my hands if they're in the way I'll try to stay out of the way but I will do one side real heavy and let it really sit down in the wrinkles and make them stand out. That'll take a couple of minutes to dry. I mean, do the whole thing, but to get it in, in there to where it really looks good, the best way to do it is to set it down on one side like this pull it out over everything and let the puddles stand and, and, and dry so that it uh, gives it that weathered look. You can see how the, the black really stays in the wrinkles themselves. Do that, try to smear it around, keep it down in the uh, parts that you want to stand out and just let it sit like that and dry and then if you think that looks good and you want to do the lower part of the seat, flip it over, stand it up, do the lower part. And uh, that's pretty much how to take care of that one. I mean, it's really nothing elaborate, but the uh, result speaks for itself, as you saw in the last one. Um, so we'll move on to a technique I talked vaguely about before, I believe. Um, for the tarp, it's called dry brushing. Um, what I already did, as I've done before, is I this is a flat tan and our olive drab green that's flat. And I'm trying to get something that'll look like a, a real highlighted color that will be faded on top of these wrinkles to make them stand out like the sun's really hit the top of the wrinkle more than anything else. So I'm just going to mix it a little bit at a time until I get the shade that I think it needs. And this technique is uh, a little touchy. Um, it might take some time to perfect. You might want to start on something that's you don't value too much at first maybe. But you saw how I loaded up the brush to get it mixed. If there's little streaks in it, so much the better. But now I'm wanting to take as much of that off as I can. So that you see how it's just barely showing up now? That's the idea. That's the reason they call it dry brushing. Now, when you come across, try to come across the wrinkle. If the wrinkles land this way, you want to bring the brush across it and just barely, barely, barely touch it. Just, just to highlight them. To give it that, that soft edge. That's the reason it's called dry brushing. You're not really applying nothing more than a just a whisper of paint right at the top of it to bring out the details of it even more much like the way that when we just uh, put the uh, shadows on the seat to bring out those wrinkles and give it a little darker look that's what we're doing here only the reverse we're instead of bringing out the crevices we're actually highlighting the top part of it Again, just bring it, and you got to realize when you're working with flat, it's going to want to 
dry quickly so don't rush it there's more paint there's you know you can mix up more but you can see what that does real quick a little bit more up. Vary your shades even if you want to 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 make it so it kind of varies in the uh, in the depth of it, the shadow of it. You can see that actually brought out the details a lot more than just just what it normally would have. And this is starting to dry out on me. I might have to mix up some more. Like I said, you're just going for the highlights. Got a little much on that one, but it'll blend in. Next thing we'll be doing is putting the powder on it, so to give it that little dusting. But you can see how that really accents everything on the car and makes it all stand out even more. So, we'll let this one dry a little bit. I'll keep on going. Let it dry. Show you the results from the seat. And uh, then we'll move on to dusting it up. And I'll show you the finished product. I'll go ahead and make the diorama base. And uh, that'll be it. So, we might have one or two videos more on this probably just one and we're done so check back